you doing? Were you giving me a straight answer? A uh, dog jumped out when I stopped to change a flat. Ah, should have been in the front with you. He was. Here, boy. Come on. Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, puppy. Dog. Here, doggy. You know, Here, this boy. would be a whole lot easier if you had a name. It's not mine a name. Oh, you like him. Admit it. How about Cosmo? Or Buddy? Better than calling him... There you are. Oh. Ah. Ah. I got you. Good boy. Well, he looks like your dog to me. Thanks for your help. What about Buster? As in, don't you ever go missing again, Buster? Like I said, I'm not keeping him. Why do you do that? Do what? Pretend you don't care. Dogs can tell you no. Tell what? When people need them. Again, Rose. Same here. And uh, this is Rob. G'day. He's a top conversationalist. He's hot. Forget it, he bats for the other team. Alex? No, Rob. Oh, you think Alex is hot? Right, right, Jody. You and Rob be right here? Yeah, no worries. G'day. Stevie, I'll go and get Hurricane C back at Drivers. Okay. See you later, Alex. Hello. Well, looks like it's just you and me. Not counting the flies, of course. Funny how people see you as one thing, but that's not really you. Like, take me, for example. I mean, what do you think when you see me? Normal, well adjusted, sensible. Well, that's not really me. Well, it is, well, mostly, but you know, I can also be quite unpredictable. Really? Yep. Well, feel free to share. <laughs> Didn't pick you for a grease monkey. Well, there are a lot of things people don't know about each other. That's so? Yep. But the more you get to know someone, the more you trust them, and the more open with them you can be. You found your problem, by the way. You've got an oil leak. Right. I just think it's a shame when people feel they have to keep a part of themselves bottled up. Oh, this nut is sour! Oh, bugger! Ugh. Stupid! Oh. Stupid thing. You'll need to soak your singlet and make a paste out of the washing powder. Thanks. What are you doing? What does it look like? Ugh. Well, do you always strip off in front of men? Well, not men who might be interested, but hey, you're not interested. I see. It's okay, Rob. You can relax. I know, and I don't care. No, what? All that you're a... Uh... You're a... Uh... What? Gay? Where did you get that crazy idea? not a crazy idea, it's just horribly inaccurate. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. I'm not disappointed. Don't you ever expect me to do anything nice for you ever again. By the way, <gasps> I think your jeans might need a soak. <sighs> oh, what happened to you? Don't ask, don't even speak. What? If you so want to be considered chauvinistic. Uh, this is Rob we're not speaking about. This is all your fault. Excuse me? It was your idea to get Rob to come out of the closet. Okay. And? And? I tried to show him how open minded I am. It just happened to involve my bra and some skin and. And he's straight. Yeah. A straight prize winning jerk. What do you know? But does he tell me straight away? Oh no, he waits until I've made a complete prat of myself. Okay, well, so now you know he's not gay. I don't suppose you're interested. Oh, come on. What does Rob have that I could possibly want in a guy? Pulse? Well, I hope you've had a decent lunch because I've got lots of cheese, olives, corn, beef. Good eye. 
thought Alex was coming with me. Change of plans. I'll look after you. Hey. Swap lives for a day? I promise Stevie. The records for the embryo transplant program. Hey. You're desperate to find out more about him. How's your chance? Well, if that's gonna happen, Katie thinks I'm an idiot. Well, now you've got all day to prove it. I'm, I mean, prove him wrong. Be driving. Because you know I do have a truck licence. Or are you one of those guys who has to be at the wheel all the time? Well, the truck's insured with me driving. Well, just as long as you know the ground rules, we're both equal. Oh, very funny. What is? You're sending me up by opening the door? I'm not sending you up. You're implying I'm a weak, pathetic woman. I was being polite. Would you have done it if I was a bloke? Right. So it's not polite, it's patronising. If I do it for a bloke, people might get the wrong idea. I made one mistake. Don't gloat. You better open it, so there's no more misunderstandings. True. It's one set of rules for how you treat your mates and another for how you treat women. What's wrong with that? Well, sex shouldn't make any difference. We should all be treated the same. So you're happy to hear men talk about which women they want to score with and get decked in a pub brawl? Hey, okay, come down to Dungallon any Friday night. We don't talk to women like that because it's not chivalrous. Oh, please. Knights in shining armour rescuing helpless princesses. Chivalry means respecting others. The strong helping the weak. Oh, so men are strong and women are weak? No, I didn't say that. I'm not weak. You opened the door for me. Men and women are meant to complement each other. Differences are good, aren't they? Differences are good at a dance party. On the farm, we both wear the pants. Okay? Why are we stopping? I meant to check where we're going. Or you could have asked me to look at the map. I'm the driver. It's my responsibility. Right, and I have ovaries, so obviously I have no sense of direction. Here you are. Uh, we're on now. Uh... I know where we are. We need to turn off the Pratt Falls. No, it's not marked. Well, it should be. It's a major intersection. And I'm a woman, so I'm obviously going to get us lost. You're the one with the map. Look, I've lived here all my life. I think I know my way west. We're not headed west. You know what I mean? Turn off's in another five k's. Thank you. You're welcome.